for us at Capgemini, we believe that uh, technology in so many ways can uh, provide help, support, and facilitation to a large number of people, especially youth, to get the future that they want. Uh, and education and skilling can play an important role in uh, uh, unlocking uh, the windows of opportunity that these youth or these kids are looking for or hoping for. how ethical the organization is, how democratic the whole organization is, how uh, rooted the organization is, and how policy-driven the organization is. And we also look at the accountability, we also look at the financial uh, discipline and the, the, the way they are operationalizing their activities, how they use tech uh, and digital to further the ambition that they have at the community level, also the, the kind of problem statement that they have, and how that particular problem statement has the potential to get mitigated by uh, uh, tech and digital, how tech and digital can play an enabler role in this particular space. Learning matter in all the boxes, uh, they they gave us a very positive tick mark there. Uh, they are a credible group uh, with, with uh, usually dedicated to the, the larger purpose of democratizing digital, making digital available to, I'd say, uh, uh, the the uh, last man standing or last uh, child standing in the queue. They are also uh, very, very transparent and uh, they follow uh, rigorous financial discipline in their own operation there. Mm -hmm. Moreover, they, they came out from a very intensive process of identifying the ideas and the entities who are looking for incubation support at IAM Bangalore there which in so many ways also authenticate the the larger purpose of the organization and the the way they are governing uh, themselves to achieve the the objective or intent that they've kept for themselves the way the product was created and and, and, and the way key problem what uh, was identified and then bringing in tech to act as a greatest enabler there, not just enabler, but also become the uh, important uh, element in solving and mitigating that particular problem. And I'm talking about uh, English as a problem there because uh, many kids at the Vilma school, uh, they are faltering on that. Uh, and they are faltering not just because they don't wish to learn, they're also fortunate because they do not have the uh, uh, teaching, learning methods, pedagogy, or even facilitator or teachers who are uh, who are well trained, well versed with the changing nuances of this particular language. And that's where uh, the the learning matter solution become much more important there, which is tech driven, which is uh, uh, available to the uh, student in a very customized manner and which allows students to learn at his or her own pace there. But that, in a number of ways, uh, provide the support which is needed and also help the teacher community, uh, teaching community to sharpen their or uh, strengthen their own skill set uh, to facilitate the, the, the ever-increasing need of a uh, student to learn this particular language and apply this particular language. Tara becomes very, very important element there because it is uh, not just what is called uh, providing uh, or mitigating hunger for learning this particular language at community level uh, at the at, the, uh, at a level where the students are coming from socially underserved or economically challenged groups. So community positioning becomes very, very vital for us. And Tara in, in so many ways fulfills that. Creating the appetite, the impact is not limited to one school, five school, ten school, but impact becomes in, in so many ways represents the multiplier of things that's happening at the field level. Looking at organizations who are rooted, who are, who are very clear, who is who are future oriented and, and whose approach is uh, solving the common people's issues and problem. Uh, these are the organizations interest us a lot. Mm. Uh, Learning Matters comes into that particular fact. It's an organization that we all are very, very proud of. Learning Matter and the product Tara identified and decided that they are going to position themselves to the socially uh, underserved, economically challenged. The mission will be there. 
the the kind of uh, opportunity which will help kids to move from uh, have nots to have mm -hmm. or move from uh, uh, things that they were aspiring or dreaming or things that they thought that they will never happen to them to a situation where they start playing with tech uh, that's that's usually usually uh, I'd say very very satisfying kids become partner in the content which is getting created mm -hmm. so rather than consumers of the content they become creator of contents Right. And that's what uh, Learning Matters and Tara has done. It's very agile organizer, someone who is very adapted to the changing requirement of communities and uh, partners and ecosystem and how one can what is evolve to uh, what is called respond uh, to the growing, growing challenges at the community level. That's that. Creates a uh, very distinct identity for learning matters there. And that, that is something that we all uh, are, all look for, and we feel very proud that the learning matter has it there. Uh, second is uh, your, your ability to be compassionate, ability to be driven by empathy, ability to what is called uh, uh, make your organization purpose driven is another element of change that you are bringing in. These are few things which which creates the uh, uh, or which sets learning matter as a distinct uh, entity uh, compared to many other, and and we feel extremely proud of working.